hello everyone welcome to this next video of the series first of all thank you so much for encouraging me to write these to prepare these videos to write this code <coughs> i was not very much sure if this is going to help someone but now that people are showing some interest i do feel confident to create more such videos i understand it's been long since i posted but i've been too occupied with other things but let's do this now and we are on to part 12 of this video i'm going to create now short videos because following a lengthy video is not uh, possible for everyone so let's do a small bit today so create your first website using angular 6 part 12 some people are asking about angular 7 is always good to start with one stable version learn about it and then basis that you can learn about the newer upcoming versions like after that you know everything about angular 6 you just have to learn what's new in angular 7 so just to understand more about 7 you don't have to do it here from scratch so i hope most of the concepts are already clear but uh, let's do this i promised an ssl in local development bc so we'll do that so what does that mean what i'm trying to do is instead of using localhost i'm going to use https localhost so obviously we are going to use OpenSSL and there is one good website which has details of edge and everything that you can do with OpenSSL. That's called OpenSSL Cookbook Online. So get to know about OpenSSL if you want to know more about TLS, OpenSSL and everything. And this book is free. You can go check this URL. I'll paste that URL in the comment section as well so that it becomes easy. <coughs> and okay so what we are going to do is as part of the XAMPP installation this is C drive XAMPP Apache bin all right so as part of the installation we already have bin folder up within Apache so if I go to XAMPP then Apache then is a folder called bin folder and there is a very much a good option easy to use option called make certificate dot bat so this certification this batch file allows you to make certificate or uh, that you can use on your local development server but problem is when you use these self-signed certificates browsers like google chrome and mozilla for that sake tells you that it's a self-signed certificate and it's not going to work so how to resolve that problem that actually is what we want to resolve so we want to see that green thing instead of a red colored message wherein we have to add the exception so let's do it by starting here so the command that we are going to use is like this open ssl request a key you can create a batch file for this command or you can actually copy this i will be pasting this command as well and we are going to use a configuration file let me open that configuration file also which we are going to use so so important thing about this configuration file is it we are specifying the bits we want we want no prompts we want a sha256 extension and everything and then we are adding star.localhost and localhost as the dns so what would happen is it will not look further for anything else to verify and this will make it good so let's do it so this file i have saved open ssl hyphen custom dot cnf okay uh, you can pretty much modify the settings specified here just leave cns whole local host these things you can pretty much change everything here okay fine so let's get started so i am going to run this command copy it here so we are requesting a new key with rsa2048 x509 nodes key out server dot key so it will create two files servers dot key and server dot crt <coughs> so i am on to the command prompt okay let's paste this command and enter and done okay we are done writing the server so now let's copy the files created so this is one this is two let's cut these files and i'm going to move it to my root folder 
my apps root folder so it is an htdocs apps <coughs> and angular 6 website so what do I have to do is to make it work okay we'll just have to create new folder call ssl paste the certificates and before we can use it we will have to install the certificate so there are two ways you can click double click and click install certificate but I would suggest if you are on Windows platform use cert mgr dot msc when you do cert manager it will open up this so the command is cert mgr dot msc and what we are going to do is we are going to install this server certificate under trusted root certifications okay so right click all task import next okay copy paste browse and server dot certificate next place all the certificate in the following so trusted root certification authorities next finish so our certificate is installed you will get a confirmation do you want to install yes import was successful so this is done we can minimize this now time to change something in the code so what we have to change is we have to go to um, angular dot json so if you will see you will find a section called serve under that there is there are options okay so under these options we will mention SSL uh, true comma um, s sorry SS certificate so we uh, have to give the S certificate path so that would be SSL slash server dot crt comma ssl key cell slash server dot key so just save this the another thing that we want to change is under package.json mm, let's go to start commands so when we do ng serve this is the command it actually runs so instead we want it to run ssl and that's it so next time it will compile it will compile with this so we'll stop it here control c and let's recompile stop and we just have to type the same thing ng serve but when we type ng serve it's going to call this ssl and let's see if it works out for us let's wait and it will show you a prompt stating that now the website is run over running over https instead of http so it was pretty much easy now when we move to a live server we just have to replace uh, the self-signed certificates with the one we have purchased that's it so let it open okay while it is happening the other thing that we want to do is with the second part that we want to do is is to move all the menu items to the database so we'll go to in memory database service okay and now I have updated the menu records so if you will see apart from the link there is something called outlet okay for these two things the outlet is pop-up and for rest of the things the outlet is blank okay so basis now we'll put a function in place which will apply some condition 
and according to the condition the display would be updated so let's go to navigation menu now this actually is what shows up and this is where the menu item gets populated so we need a better version of this so that basis the input it should be able to select what we actually want so let's do this okay uh, let's see if the compilation was successful or oh, is still compiling so we can continue with the code so let's do it so what we actually want is we want everything to be the same it's just the uh, just how this anchor tag gets rendered we want to change this so what if we could apply some if condition if else so far we have seen how to use if but there has been no else condition so we'll apply if and l both things here so how to do that it's easy actually so we'll create a div tag and ng if equals to let's put some condition like menu item dot outlet equals to blank um, blank let's say okay then this is the condition then we put a semicolon and then if condition sorry then else So what we'll do is we'll create two blocks, template blocks. So that will be rendered based on the condition we have mentioned here. Okay, this div is nothing but just a placeholder for our ng if. So now let's create ng template. ng hyphen template opening and closing so now let's label this so then block mm. let's capitalize the b so it becomes more readable similarly we'll copy this paste it here and call this else block so this is then block which will be executed if the condition is correct otherwise else block so if the condition is true means it's a normal menu thing just render it like this otherwise we want it to render like the one available in navigation menu HTML something like this so let's copy it from here okay and put this here okay so we want router link outlets pop up contact us so instead of contact us what I can mention here is menu item dot link okay let's save this and we can remove what we have here we can remove these two because hard to be part of the complete menu uh, yes this one so let's save this also okay let's see the progress okay it is compiled successfully and if we scroll up 
it is now running on HTTPS so let's reopen now HTTPS 4200 okay you see no error nothing but our website is not trending let's see if there is some error or something unexpected token hash at column okay so let's do it so instead of two we should have been using three equals to signs so let's see if this works out for us It's recompiling. Okay, compiled successfully. Again, the same error. What am I missing? Okay, back to the code okay oh uh, yes we can remove these hashes from here so it is only for referencing okay let's see if this works out to us yes it's working now let me see if the menu is also working it's yes let's use the menu subscribe yes it is working contact us yes it is working all right so there are there is actually so much to do with this uh, application altogether we can add admin panel we can do so many things but i'm a little slow in doing all these activities so i'll be adding in a pace so that everyone who's ever is following should be able to learn out of this so uh yes so this is done for this video next next I am planning to add something like a slider so remember we created a individual package for these routes so that means whenever we are moving to each of these sections it will only be loaded at that time so that will improve the overall performance of this application so so far we only created a separate component for did we create a separate component yes we did create a separate component in the 10th video and similarly I'm going to convert everything from home about services gallery and everything here and plugging in with a backend API is much easier I found one good API for PHP which we can use readily so PHP why am I starting with PHP because it is something you can deploy on a normal web hosting shared hosting which is easily available and it's not a big application it's a small little app, uh, website that you're running so that would simplify the process of set, sending and executing then what we are going to do is we are going to replicate everything we have as part of PHP API as, and develop it as a Node.js API and use some different server so this is done for this video so far we completed SSL and see Chrome doesn't complain showing it properly all right and same thing you can notice on other browsers so thank you for joining guys it really means a lot to me that my work is getting acknowledged and your words your kind words really encourage me to do more of such videos and I feel I will not be stopping here I'll definitely be adding more and more features and applications so that's for now thank you so much for joining keep sharing do subscribe if you have not subscribed already do subscribe and keep commenting thank you so much